Hello makers, welcome back to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and today we're gonna to talk about AstroPrint. So a few months ago, quite a few months ago actually, AstroPrint reached out and asked me if I'm willing to test out the, uh, the Astro boxes that they produce. And I said, yes, absolutely. Being someone who prints well for a living, I have a print farm downstairs. It's always good to have the ability to control everything remotely. So they sent me a couple of AstroBox Touch, which is this thing right here. It's basically a Raspberry Pi with their software pre-installed and a touchscreen and also an AstroBox to test out as well. So seeing as something always came up, I figured today I'm gonna nip it in the butt and I'm gonna install these and see how it goes. Starting off from AstroBox Touch. Now the process to hooking it up is relatively painless. You plug in the power supply, the USB cable that runs into your printer, and let it start it up. The first time it's fired up, you will be greeted with a setup screen asking you to choose your language. Following that is the setup process. First, you get to choose the name of your AstroBox. Now I renamed mine obviously because I'm the noob and instantly noticed on the screen, um, the keyboard isn't too fat finger friendly, but it is to be expected with a small screen. Once that was done, I got a notice that telling me that my new AstroBox name won't take effect until I reboot. So I pressed OK as you showed me to do and continue to hook up my Wi-Fi network. Now, once that was connected, I was presented with a screen to choose my connected printer. Now, unfortunately, this took a while as the AstroBox Touch couldn't recognize my printer or it couldn't recognize the connection. I tried going back and retry, but to no avail, so I decided to skip this part for now. Next was the option to sign in or create an account with AstroPrint. Now, seeing as I had already an account from a couple of years back, I tried logging in, but was told there was an error logging me in. So I tried several times, but I still had no success. Now, since my account is quite old and hasn't been used in quite a while, I thought that maybe it got deleted. I tried signing up for a new account, but was told that the email address already exists, which told me that, okay, I, my account is still active. So I went online, I reset my password from the uh, desktop version of uh, AstroPrint, which was fine. I logged in, everything was fine. But when I went to log into uh, the AstroPrint Touch, I was still being told there was an error. So then I decided to go back to change the Wi-Fi connection, thinking that maybe that the one I was on wasn't strong enough. But at that point, I couldn't even log into the Wi-Fi anymore. After several minutes, I decided to reboot the AstroBox. This solved all my problems. It turns out that once you change the name, you should instantly reboot the machine for the rest of the setup to work and not just the name changed. But anyway, once I restarted, I was asked to choose the language again, confirm the AstroBox name. It instantly connected to my Wi-Fi because it remembered from the first time I connected and finally brought up a list of printers I could choose to confirm what is connected. I made my selection and proceeded to log into my AstroPrint account. And voila, instant success. I was presented with a screen to choose the firmware driving the printer and also the baud rate. Now, since the printer couldn't connect, I simply selected a different baud rate, which I know um, is correct. And this worked fine. You are then given a screen to input the maximum temperatures for the hot end and heat bed, plus the number of extruders and also in which direction the X axis movement is along with some other settings to confirm. Once all is set, I was ready to start printing. This is when I was told that there was a firmware update, which was easy enough to do as it's all automatic via the touch interface. So I went ahead and updated. Once updated, it rebooted and I finally had my main menu screen. So this is where you'll find your print menu, your utilities, your apps and your settings. From here, you can even connect directly to sites like My Mini Factory and Tinkercad so you can directly download models into the cloud for slicing and printing. Now, in the meantime, I hooked up the second AstroBox Touch and this, this time it was a breeze seeing as I knew exactly what had to be done. At this point, I also hooked up a webcam on one of the devices to test it out. Now, since those AstroBox touches were installed, I wanted to see how easily I could get up and running by printing. I jumped onto IdeaMaker with my Ender 3 profile, loaded a test print and sliced it. I then saved the G code and went onto the file uploader. I uploaded the model, which I had just sliced and hit print. It was as easy as that actually to start printing. I did the same thing for the Artillery Genius and the same process applied. Slice, save, upload and print. The interface on the cloud will give you all the information you need about the progress of a print and you can modify certain parameters on the fly as you would usually on the printer itself while it's printing. 
The monitoring page gives you an overview of all your printers and their progress. Along with this, if you have a camera hooked up to your, uh, to your Pies, you can also remotely monitor the prints through video or possibly even record a time lapse. Now at this stage, while those two are printing, um, I decided to navigate through the interface in order to see what features AstroPrint gives you. From a productivity standpoint, I can see good use for AstroPrint. However, you will have to be ready to pay the premium plan in order to use more than two machines. Now, while the premium plan is about $10 a month, if you pay monthly, it only gives you access to five machines in total with one active user. Anything above that will be an additional $5 per machine per month. Unless, of course, you want to pay annually to save money. In fact, when I tried to set up my third Astrobox I received, I couldn't use it unless I pay the premium plan. Now, for the average maker who prints at home as a hobby or wants to make a few bucks printing on demand, Astroprint might not be the right tool for you if you are running more than two printers. And I remember being at that stage where every penny counts. I'm sure many of you will mention Octoprint, which is an open source program that also runs on Raspberry Pi without any limitations, which is what I usually use. However, when it's a company with a relatively large turnover of prints who doesn't want to take the time in training new staff and who doesn't need all the extra bells and whistles which Octoprint provides, like all the plugins, Astroprint does the job. Its user interface is clean and straightforward and it can be set up within minutes to start production. It gives you all the information you need related to your prints, plus you get priority support when needed. You basically have all the tools you need for productivity, such as slicing through an integrated version of Cura within the cloud. You have printing queues, which you can set up. You have printer and filament profiles, camera monitoring. Uh, you have a mobile app for remote control and monitoring, also reporting, which ultimately is all you need as a print farm. Now, while I am using the provided Astrobox Touch and Astrobox Getaway, which cost 199 euro and 99 euro respectively, and come pre-assembled and set up from the factory, you can still supply your own hardware for the Astrobox Getaway. You can then download the software image. However, you have to keep in mind that it's a non-commercial license, so you'd still need to purchase a license if you wish to use this for a print farm where you intend to make um, money from. Now, as a business owner of a small print-on-demand shop, I like the fact that it's a quick product which will ease my production. It has everything I need without having to go through all the process of me having to do any software mods or any add-on installations. However, even though my farm runs 25 plus printers, which aren't always running, but they're always hooked up and ready to go, I cannot see myself paying over $1,000 a year to have the service. But as I said, I don't see this product aimed at people like me, whose turnover is not constant. It's a business solution for those who want a print farm structure without having to do any of the work to set it up because it's easy. For those people, it will probably be even cheaper to run AstroPrint at that scale than actually having to employ people to run the farm and monitor. Apart from that, at that scale, you'd also get phone support, user permission, group management, advanced analytics, which are all the things, um, you know, a serious company would need to be profitable. As my final thoughts, uh, would I set up my farm with this? As I explained, uh, possibly not because it's a bit costly for someone like me and it's going to be costly for the average maker. If you have no more than two machines and you want you know, some remote connectivity, yes, it's, it's a brilliant app to use. If you're a larger company with high turnover, yes, it's a great setup to have for productivity but it is a bit costly. So that is why I don't think this is aimed at makers like Aside from that, I like the products, they're polished, they're clean, um, ready out of the box, so it just makes life easy. Disclaimer as always guys, Astroprint sent me these uh, devices to test out and give you my unbiased review. The machines will be going back to Astroprint uh, next week actually, while I'm in Formnext, because I will be at Formnext if you're there. Come say hi. All opinions expressed in this review are my own based on my experience with these machines. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Massive shout out to my patrons who help me support the channel and keep letting me do stuff like this. Um, that is it. As always, happy making, guys.